Welcome back to the Avalon Guns YouTube channel. My name's Jake and today we're looking at some air guns. These are the handguns we have available at our Mendip store. They are available in both Branches Street and Mendip. The 92FS is available in different variants. This one is the black. We've also got nickel and black grip and nickel and wooden grips. This model is built on the real thing, so in 1976 they produced this as a real handgun, um, which fired bullets, not pellets, and they were available in different calibres. 9mm was most popular, um, magazine fed, which was detachable, and still produced now, very, very popular, so popular that they now make these ones for the UK market, as we're not easily allowed pistols here. This is a pellet CO2 powered handgun um, and there's no license required. If you go into the post office, it still looks as though it's the real deal, so don't do that. So what we're gonna do is show you the features on each one and some other guns. So firstly, they're CO2 powered, so you have to press this small button here, push that one in, and that releases the grip on the opposite side. Once that grip's out of the way, you can then cock the floor plate back, unwind this screw, and a CO2 canister slides inside here. The screw then gets done up tightly against the CO2. As soon as that's done up, you push the floor plate up, which breaks the seal on the CO2. Grip clicks back on, and then that's ready to go. Next up, we've got a lever on the left side, which pushes down, that shoots the action forward, the barrel's now forwards, that exposes where you can enter the magazine. So the magazine on these, they're eight shot, they're 177 caliber, not available in 2.2. You load the magazine up, slide the magazine in from the top, it clicks down there. Now you want to pinch at the front of the barrel, there's grips here. You don't want to put your hand at the end of the barrel, it's not good practice. You don't want to have the barrel pointing at your hand at any time, even if your finger is not on the trigger. So pinch the barrel, slide that back, the magazine is now inside. Imagine you've got your pellets loaded in there, that gun's ready to go. We've got a safety at the back, so this safety goes up, red's exposed, so it's ready to fire. Safety goes back, and that's ready, that's safe now. So it's on both sides. When that's forward, you can then fire the gun. Um, as I say, CO2 powered, so this is air getting pushed down the barrel through the magazine, pellet gets picked up and then shot out of the barrel. Effective and fun, um, not the best for pest control because they're low on power, but great for targets, shooting cans and other things. So that's the Black Action Bretta 92FS. This one is the nickel finished action with black grips, so a little bit more sleeker. Um, again, based on one they make as a real gun. Same features again, you push to release the grip, you push the button down, the lever down this side, the, on the left hand side, that pushes the barrel forward to put your magazine in. Next up, our final one that we have in stock here of the three is the nickel action with the wooden grip. So on the wooden grips, they've got a really nice feel. It's quite a sharp checkering on the wood. Um, there's a gold badge, the Bretta badge on each side. And obviously it's wood all the way through. Probably the smartest of the three looking. Um, doesn't perform any different though. And again, yeah, they're great for target shooting or fun shooting in gardens at a shooting range. Before we move on to the next model, the Wolfer, we're going to be giving away a pack of air arms pellets available in 177022, the choice is yours. Um, all you've got to do to be in the chance of having these pellets for free is like this video, subscribe, and let us know in the comments which is your preferred handgun, if you've got one. Moving on to the Wolfer range now, we started with the Beretta 92, now we're moving on to the Wolfer. The two different models we're looking at is the CP99 and the Wolfer CP88. So starting with the 99 first, very similar 
action to the Beretta on how they're made. So lever on the left hand side again, you push that lever down, it shoots the barrel forwards, it then exposes the action so you can drop the loaded magazine inside there, pinch the barrel at the ends, back clicks back and again ready to fire. We've got safety on the right hand side, lever on the left to open the action. So safety, it's got a button to engage, you click the button and it then slides back. Red's exposed so that that means it's live, ready to fire. Push that safety across and you're back on safe. A button here, a lever to pinch each side. This one pushes down, it then releases the floor plate, which completely removes. Inside here, because it's a new gun, it's got foam in. In here we put the CO2, screw this one up so that it bursts the seal on the CO2. This one then slides back forwards inside here with a click. That's now live with a CO2 ready to go. Um, really short, easy to use CP99. They use this action across lots of different Wolfer models. They change the design and the looks of the air guns a lot but this is the main one they use. Next one, same gun, same model, Wolfer CP99, same way it's loaded, lever on the left, safety on the right. We've got the nickel action on this one so a little bit different on the looks and the design is the same. So black grip, nickel on the top as opposed to black on black. Next one we're going to look at is the CP88. So we've got two CP88s here. One is the standard, so we've got the normal length barrel, and this one is the competition. So it's got an extended barrel, a little bit more accurate. They call that the competition. So the CP88 is metal action, same way it works again. We've got the lever on the left, that slides the barrel forward. Drop your magazine again, slide that back. On the back of the action, on both sides, is the safety. Again, down, it's on safe, up, it's red, exposed, ready to fire. Similar to the Beretta, we've got a button, this time on the right side rather than the left. The button pushes in and moves your grip out of the way. Unslide the nut inside there and pull the floor plate down. Slide your CO2 in do the nut back up and push the floor plate in. Burst the seal on the CO2, that one's ready to go. Again, with this one, you've got a grip at the end to pinch, so you don't want to be putting your hand into the end of the barrel. Not good practice again, not safe. Don't want that gun to be accidentally fired and shot through your hands. So pinch the ends rather than pushing the ends to slide that back. That's the CP88. Quick look again at the CP88 competition. Same gun, slightly more. But it is the same action, it's got an extended barrel, like we say, a little bit more accurate over the range, doesn't go any further. These guns are effective up to 20 metres, so more than enough for fun target practice. This one is just said to be a little bit more accurate with the extended barrel length. Next ones to show you are the Colt and Six Sour. So on the Colt, similar to what we've looked before again, the Colt is based on a real pistol. This one, of course, is 177 pellet, 4.5 millimeter. Um, on this one, you've got the button as before. On the left side, you push that button, it releases the grip to then put your CO2 and load inside there. The grip just slides back on with a bit of a click. Um, on this one, safety's at the back as before. Um, you've got a lever on the left, slides the barrel forward, drop your 8-shot magazine inside there, pinch the end with a bit of a push that goes back in. This one does not fire unless your hand is gripped and pressed, pressed into there, so once you have got a grip and pressed into there, it will then let the gun fire. Um, that one is a really popular one, metal action, feels correct weight, so these in lots of numbers. Um, next one to show you, it's a little bit different system on this one, this is a SIG Sour M17. So on the SIG, you've got plastic grip, metal at the top, um, it's a desert color. Button on the left hand side, press this one, it shoots down the magazine and CO2. So, magazine's also 
inside here, you press this button here, that releases the magazine. And rather than a small eight shot magazine, this one is fed in a rotation and lets the pellet in from the top into the barrel. You put your, you put your pellets straight through into there. Spin it around as you go going to load all the pellets in. 20 shots in total, I think, on this one. Um, once you've loaded that up with pellets, click back into there. That will then slide into there. Um, safety's at the back. Back for safe, forward for fire. It is a blowback, so part of the CO2 is used to push the pellet out of the barrel and fire it. And part of the CO2 is also used to act as recall and blow the hand back when you're firing. Um, we're going to just demo this one. Great gun again, probably one of my favourite ones, that one. Um, lastly, we're going to look at the revolver, so different type now. These ones are all different. Um, first one, more of a collector's piece, is this very fancy blue chrome finish Colt. So this is a Colt. Um, it's revolver, as I say. You've got the cocking bolt at the back. It, that also rotates the magazine round in there. On the right hand side of the gun, you've got this little lid you push across. You can then get to the side of the action and load your pellets in one by one there. Um, these are bullet looking start to the barrel. So the pellet goes inside here and it slides in. So that's bullet replica, acts as the barrel, holds the pellet and then slides from there into the barrel and out of the gun. Um, you can spin this feed round for a bit of fun. That's how you load the pellets in, one by one, in there. Lock that back across, and you can then cock the lever back and fire it. Um, CO2 is in the bottom on this one. Um, there's a little lip that on the left-hand side. From the bottom, you can just push that across. The grip falls out, and CO2 can go straight inside there. Twist that up. It comes with an Allen key to twist that. Pop the seal and you're good to go. That grip sits back on. Again, effective like the rest of them, up to 20 metres. Um, moving on to the next revolver, this is a Umarex Legends. Again, revolver. Um, on this one, you can, on the left hand side, push this lever forward. It releases the magazine, which is quite fun because you can spin it. Um, tip it upside down and all of the rounds will fall out. Again, replica bullets which act as a chamber for the pellet. So load your pellet inside there, slot that back inside the magazine one by one and that acts as the start of the barrel or the chamber for the pellet to be shot out of. That slides back across and cock the gun back and you can fire. Loading the CO2 on this one, you pinch at the back on the grip and that slides back and out. CO2 then slides in from the left hand side. There's a little screw here at the end you can twist to burst the seal. That goes in there. Last one to show you is this Webley and Scott service revolver. So this is the Mark VI model. Um, these can come in battle finish. They look like they've been used and like they're dated when in fact they're new. Um, again, lever on the left hand side like most of these, push the lever in, that allows you to bend the barrel down and it exposes these again bullet looking chambers for the pellet to sit into which is all a bit of fun really. Um, you can put your pellets in one by one and that acts as the barrel to then take the pellet from there into the barrel and fire out the end. Um, again CO2 powered CO2 sits in at the back here, left hand side to the grip, pinches off and CO2 will go inside there. Let us know in the comments which of these guns is your favourite and if you've got any other models that you do like. Thank you for watching this video and we'll be back to do more soon.